Rub up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about one of the most popular and perhaps the best built SUV that you can get for the money. This is the Lexus RX350. 2009, 11 years old, but under the hood, take a listen as I start it up. Still runs like a top and as smooth as can be. We'll turn that off. There, now it's even quieter. They put it in gear. Look at this. No shaking, smooth as silk. And what does it have on it? 179,000 miles. And look at this. The short term fuel is just 0.8. And then sometimes it's zero. When it's zero, that means it's running perfectly. It's not having to add or subtract fuel. I get some new cars that don't even go that good. When it's 0.8, that's eight tenths of one percent that it's adjusting which is practically nothing you don't have a problem until you get 20 25 percent off this thing is just about as good as a brand new car but it's 11 years old and has 179,000 miles on it they don't give these things away this one was originally thirty-eight thousand five hundred dollars still a reasonable amount of money back then and it's not a race car it's a beautiful suv top speeds 114 miles an hour my old Celica goes faster than that but that's not what this SUV is about. Comfortable leather seats. Nice wood grain steering column. Lots of room in the back. This isn't some toy that has a tiny back seat. You can easily fit three people comfortably in the back seat of this thing. And yet it's still got a lot of trunk space. It's got the nice top so nobody can see what's inside. And you got room for all kinds of things. Plus, you flip these seats forward, man. You got all kinds of room for carrying stuff, if necessary. They also have plenty of power if you want to tow something. But the main selling point, smooth engine and transmission. It's got an ultra reliable V6 engine. I've seen these things with half a million miles on them and they still have the original engine head gasket and the automatic transmissions are smooth as silk in these things and the ride as you're going down the road is nice and cushy now for those fanatic people who really want more of a sports SUV yeah the Acuras do have better handling than these do when it comes to an overall ride put my rear end in one of these Lexuses I'll get in a ride to California from Texas in a heartbeat I wouldn't think twice they are just so comfortable of course being an 09 it's got old technology it's got an mp3 player and it's got a small screen but hey it's a Lexus. This stuff still works even though it's 11 year old. My wife's 18 year old Lexus. Everything still works on that too. It's got one of those six CD changers. They still work perfectly fine. Everything on it still works. From the cruise control to the security system that still works. Heck, this baby still has the original struts on it and it rides fine. Contrary to what the dealer told my customer when he went there, tried to sell him all new struts for thousands of dollars, this car does not really need that done. That's how well made these things are. They can last and last. And yeah, you're gonna pay more for one. There's no doubting that. But if you amortize what you pay and how many years or decades you can drive these things, they're still a bargain. When you put together an ultra reliable Toyota V6 engine that puts out 270 horsepower with the extremely reliable five speed automatic Toyota transmission, last a long time and get decent gas mileage for what they are. They're a heavy SUV. This particular one gets about 24 miles a gallon on a highway. Yeah, no great shakes today. For the ride and the luxury that you have, do you really care about a few miles per gallon? I don't, my wife's Lexus, it gets about the same. It gets about 24, 25 miles a gallon when you're driving it down a highway. It's the reliability and comfort that makes these things popular. You can drive 10 hours. I used to do that in other cars myself before I got my wife's Lexus. My neck used to get sore my back could get sore i'm driving i tell my wife hey look no more sore neck or back ever since we got you that lexus i can just drive and drive and drive and i'm an old man <laughs> so you think i'd be falling apart as i get older and not be able to drive further than i used to <laughs> when you consider the relatively high price of these things the rx series through history they've sold over two 
million RXs at the price that they cost. Now considering that Volkswagen sold millions of Beetles and they were cheap little cars, Toyota sold millions and millions and millions of Toyota Corollas, the fact that they sold millions of these things says volumes about how the vehicles are made, how long they last, and how much people actually like them. And yes, even if you follow Scotty's advice and buy a used one to save money, they still have extremely high resale values because they're so popular and they can last so long. There's nothing wrong with buying one of these things used if it's got 100,000 miles on it. I had a customer five years ago buy one with 100,000 miles. He's still driving it today. It's got 250,000 miles on it. Still has the original engine, the original transmission, the original air conditioning system. They're solid built vehicles. Now take this particular one, look. Aha, it was made in Canada. Cambridge, Ontario, the same place. My Lexus was made. You're gonna say if you've been watching my videos. Hey, Scotty always says buy Japanese cars that are made in Japan. Well, Canadians also make excellent cars. In Cambridge, Ontario for quite some time. I've seen no quality control problems with them whatsoever. Canadians know how to make cars. Heck, I had a Ford when I was a kid that I bought that was made in Oakville, Ontario. That thing ran and ran and ran. Canadians know how to make cars. People always like to have the Windsor V8 engines in their Ford Mustangs. Guess where they were made? Windsor, Ontario. That's why they called them Windsor V8s. And in the case of this Canadian made Lexus RX350, the proof is in the pudding. This thing still runs like a clock. Customers had no real problems with the thing. And for an 11 year old car, you know it's dirty. We had a dust storm last night. It's still pretty sharp looking. For something that's 11 years old. Even the LI wheels are still in pretty good shape. So when you drive one of these things around, you just feel solid and safe. Even an 11 year old one that's got 179,000 miles on it. It's just so smooth, you come to the stop sign. Hey, are things shaking? No, they're not shaking, even in an old car like this. And yes, they're not race cars, but 270 horsepower? You step on the gas? Hey, <laughs> it isn't that slow. <laughs> so now you know the truth about these RX 350s. Lexus has sold quite a few of them, even though they're rather expensive. In this case, you actually do get what you pay for. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Talk to Tommy 64 says, Scotty, really appreciate what you're doing. The time to answer everybody's questions. What's your advice on purchasing a used first car? There's a lot of junk out there. I don't want to caught in the trap of a money pit. If you absolutely positively want a really reliable car, just stick to like looking at Toyota Camrys, Toyota Corollas, Honda Civics, and Honda Accords if you want a car. If you want an SUV, same basic stuff, Toyotas and Hondas. You're always going to get a better deal going through any of those things like Car Trader, Craigslist. You go to a dealer, they got cars. If they're popular like that and everybody knows they're good cars, they charge way too much money. Most dealerships are charging two to three times what they paid for a used car to sell it to you. Because generally they're financed to that. Realize if you're buying a used car and you have the cash, you want to buy it from a private individual. Because nowadays the dealers, they don't care about cash. They say, same price, cash or credit. Well, come on now, if somebody's loaning you money and you're paying by the month, you're going to pay more than you should if you pay cash. And if they're not going to deal with you, the dealer just say, I'll go buy it from a private individual. Because a lot of them will not deal with cash. They won't give you a better deal to say it's the same price. Because to them, they get a percentage of the sale price. And they don't want a smaller percentage. So they're going to say it makes no difference. Why deal with people like that? Well, look at Craigslist, Auto Trader, all those things. You never know what you're going to find. I just had a customer yesterday, bought a beautiful F-150, had 60,000 miles on it, just absolutely phenomenal. For 12.5, it was an Auto Trader, and it was an older gentleman who couldn't drive it anymore, and his son was selling it, and the guy, everybody was happy. He got good money for it, but the other guy got a truck with 60,000 miles on it that looked brand spanking new that an old man had driven that had no dings, no wrecks. He lived out in the country, so they did they last longer there because people don't bash into your cars as much in the country at parking lots and stuff. Everything's more wide open, so some of those things are just cream. And here in Texas, they don't rust, so look for a private deal. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.